Hello everyone, this is Adam and this is Should You Buy where I give you straight gameplay footage and commentary of whether you should purchase a specific game. If you want to read my full review, there will be a link in the description below. Now, I've been playing Trials Rising for a couple of weeks right now and I have to say I enjoyed it a lot. This is coming from someone who's never played a Trials game. I've heard of the franchise, I'm also a very avid watcher of Achievement Hunter so I've seen their series. And when I dived into Trials Ryzen, at first I was extremely frustrated because the game was not what I expected in terms of how you actually have to play. The balancing mechanics and the acceleration system are very simple to understand but extremely complicated to master as you get into the more complicated tracks. That being said, if you're like me and you're just saying, if I'm new to this series, should I even try this game? Because I've heard nothing but, you know, talks about being so hard that it's something that you can't just pick up and play. I actually think the opposite of that after playing this game. Yes, it took me about two hours to get through the tutorials, but for the most part, once I got into the flow of everything, understood the balancing system, the momentum system, and I got really addicted to the game. In fact, I unlocked so much stuff without even noticing, and that's that's a great thing. If a game could get you to the groove of something that you don't even notice that you're playing, that you're just having fun, They've done something extraordinary. Like I stated, it does take a lot of time to get used to the systems here. Fortunately, Ubisoft's developers saw that and decided to create a wonderful tutorial system that teaches you all the basics of how to accelerate, how to use your momentum, how to keep balance. All these things are essential, especially during the later ends of the game. On the expert tracks, I'm not going to show you how poorly I did, but they require some incredible finesse in order to get through. But as you go on, you are unlocking cosmetic items. There are no performance enhancing items with the exception of the bikes. But for the most part, I only found like two bikes to be essential. The Rhino and um, another one of the bikes that was a little lighter. But for the most part, all the other bikes are just for having fun. Like the tandem bike, I actually got my friend to play with me. It is extremely difficult and well, it's fun. Like, the crashes are so entertaining and so cool to look at that I rarely felt frustrated when I was crashing. I mean, there is a degree of annoyance when you're trying to get those gold medals because there are certain tracks that you can only unlock for getting the most high score, the most gold medals, etc. But again, it's so much fun that I really didn't notice that. But if you get frustrated easily, like if you played a game like Dark Souls or Ninja Gaiden and you got very annoyed for dying so much, this is probably not the game for you because you will fail and you will fail a lot. So get prepared for hitting that restart button a lot. There is one annoyance that I found incredibly infuriating is that you can't restart the track from the beginning instantly. There will be certain, like I stated before, you need to get gold medals and you need to get the best score in order to unlock some of the more expert tracks. But to do that, you have to basically do the entire track flawlessly. And when you screw up one time, it can really cut into your timer and it's just something that should have been implemented into the game. Give you the option to either quick restart to the checkpoint or quick restart the entire map but I guess it was not implemented because you hit that restart so many times that you might accidentally hit the, the uh, restart track and it end up doing the whole thing over and trust me there are tracks here where you do not want that to happen but nevertheless Trials Ryzen is a great game whether you're a newcomer like me or a veteran from what I can tell veterans have really dived into this game and said it was an incredible experience place just like all the other Trials games so if you're a veteran of this game you will find more of that to love there are uh, level editors where you can create your own track and judging from the pre-made tracks I can only imagine what people will create from the amount of stuff that are given to you I've seen what people did in the previous game again I'm a huge fan of achievement hunter so I've seen all those incredible things that have been created so I can only imagine people who have much more creativity than I have will create some of the most amazing things you can possibly imagine but the tracks that are given to you are insanely good. Like, look at this stuff. Everything is so animated and lively. The background is so lush and detailed. It's clear that the people who developed this game went all in out. They were passionate about this project and they wanted to deliver the best trials experience they could. So there you have it. If you want to read my full review, it'll be in the description below. But I highly recommend trials whether you're a newcomer or a veteran. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next time.